Hey YouTube, Jam here, and welcome back to the Gaming Station. So, I've been struggling trying to think of content that I can do for you guys, um, so I ended up deciding that I'm just going to do a favorite brawlers for each rarity, so that's going to be the topic for today. Um, I'm also not scripting this video at all. Um, I got notes written down, but I didn't write out a full script like I normally would because I'm trying to do things a little more freehand. That way it helps me with my podcast. So if I sound a little lost or I get off topic, that's going to be why, because everything's not fully scripted like it usually would be. Um, but let me know what you think about the freeform content, if you prefer it this way or if you like the scripted stuff a little bit better. And also comment down below, what are your favorite brawlers for each rarity and why they're your favorite brawler for that rarity. All right, so let's just get started into the list now. All right, so we're gonna start with the common brawlers and then we're gonna move our way up to the legendary brawlers. Um, so let's just get started with the commons. Uh, my favorite common brawler is gonna be Brock. And Brock's my favorite common brawler because I think he has probably the best kit out of all the common brawlers. Um, he's got super high damage. Uh, his gadget gives him super good mobility, uh, allowing him to either escape when people get too close to him and he doesn't want them to be close, or he can use it as a gap close and get into their face and burst them down because he's got super high damage like I just said and then his super is very devastating you know you can take out a lot of brawlers if you get them in the right spot with it and it's also got wall break so it also offers some utility so you got some versatility in that sense too um, and also he's got really good star powers incendiary is great for area of denial and rocket number four gives him super good burst damage which I actually don't have incendiary I have rocket number four and I actually really like it so I don't really complain about that that often um, but the only downside for Brock would be that he's got really low HP now ever since his HP nerf. So um, that affects him in the regard of like when you want to jump into people's faces or when people get too close to you and you run out of your gadgets or whatever. Um, but that's going to do it for Brock. All right, moving on to the rare brawlers. My favorite rare brawler is actually going to be Poco. Um, I said that in my Q&A video um, that he was one of my favorite brawlers. And in this video, again, I'm going to say Poco. Um, but I love his design. I love that he's like an undead mariachi band player. I think it's really cool. And, you know, his voice lines go with that because he plays guitar and he yells things like power chord and all that stuff. I just think it's really cool and really well designed. Um, he's a natural fit. Like his kit is a natural fit for my play style um, because I always tend to play like a healer or a support character in a lot of games. Um, just because people don't really volunteer for it and I don't really mind playing that and I like to try to help people as much as I can when playing games. So that's another reason why I like him. Um, I like both of his star powers. I obviously prefer Decapo because it's just way better most of the time. Um, but Screeching Solo has got its uses. I don't really use it that often, but I could see why people would want to use it because it gives them a fourth attack, basically. And that can help you finish off kills when you need it and stuff like that. But the one big knock I have against Poco is that he's very reliant on his team to do most of the damage because he himself doesn't do a ton of damage and he has a hard time getting kills at times. And that can be really frustrating sometimes when you're playing with randoms and they're not really doing that and they're just kind of hanging back and playing real passively. Um, so if you're not playing Poco with a team, you got to really consider where you're playing him and what mode it is. Um, for example, like I don't like him in Brawl Ball if I'm not in a team, but in Gem Grab he does just fine because as long as you're not dying and you have the gems, it's not a big deal if they're playing really passive. But anyway, let's move on to the super rares. So super rares are kind of a toss up for me because I really like both Carl and Jackie. Um, Carl's really cool. I like his character design and I like his kit, how he's like a mid range brawler that can do just about everything and he doesn't get hard countered. But I'm gonna give it to Jackie because I like Jackie's character design as well. Um, I like that she's like an angry construction worker. And she's got the curse words and stuff that she blurps out. Um, so it's really, it's just really funny to me. Um, but I also like her simplicity of her kit because she, you can just pick her up and you can just play her. And really the only thing you got to focus on is who you're going after and what your positioning is. And even though they nerfed it, I still really like her gadget because I like that it lets you choose when you can go aggro. So if you get somebody low and they try to run away, you can pop your gadget, chase them down and try to secure the kill. And it also lets you help, uh, helps you move up the map and get better positioning and stuff. I just think it's really a well-designed gadget, even though right now, or even though when it came out, it, it was really strong and now it's kind of weak in my opinion, but I still really like the idea behind it. You know what I mean? And the one thing I really don't like in Jackie's kit is her super, honestly. I feel like it's kind of pointless more often than not. It has its uses, like in Brawl Ball when you need someone to drop the ball, or if you want to get the get a shield up at the last second or something like that. But overall, it's not a good super in most modes, in most situations. So that would be the one thing I don't like about Jackie. All right, um, we're on to epics now, and this one's going to be really easy if you guys have been paying attention to my channel at all. Um, that's going to be BB. 
BB is my favorite epic because she's just a lot of fun for me to play, and that's the whole reason why I picked her as my main. Another reason is that she's good in pretty much every mode, so I can pick her up and play her if I want to play Gem Grab, Siege, Brawl Ball, Heist. She's good in all those modes. Um, the only one she's really not good in is Bounty, but that's my least favorite mode, so I don't really play Bounty a lot, so it doesn't really affect me. I also think she has really good mechanics, um, and mastering her shot delay and her knockback is really satisfying once you start getting it down and you start getting a rhythm about it. Um, I'm still really bad at that stuff, but I'm working on it and I'm getting better. The one thing I really don't like about BB right now is the HP that she has, like her total amount of HP. Um, they nerfed it twice. Uh, I agreed with the first one they gave her because that was right after they gave her her speed buff and she was really strong, but then they gave her a second one. Uh, HP nerf that is and it just really overdid it I think and you can feel it when you play her now um, I think if they reverted that one she'd be in a lot better state and she'd actually be able to fill her tank roll a little bit better Because as of right now if you're not playing her with the shield star power It kind of feels bad when you but when you bust your shield open after using your knockback And then you get bursted down because you just don't have enough HP to be that aggro brawler like you should be all right, and like that, we're on to Mythics already. So my favorite Mythic is actually a toss-up between Max and Tara. Um, I really like playing Max. She's got a super fun play style, and I really like her character, how she's like a super hyper, energetic kid. I think that's really cool. But my favorite brawler to actually play is going to be Tara. Out, out of Mythics, anyway. My favorite Mythic is going to be Tara. Um, because... I think she's probably the best mid-range brawler in the game um, because she's got really reliable chip damage from far and then if someone gets too close her damage goes way up and she has really good burst damage from close range um, and obviously she has probably the best super in the game um, because it can be absolutely devastating if you can get a whole team wipe out of it and you know flip the script of a game whether that's team wiping in brawl ball and moving right up the map or in gem grab when you can team wipe them and get um, all the gems and secure them for your team. But it's not only good for just getting team wipes, it's also really good just for winning your 1v1 lane matchups. Like if you just use your super on one person and then you burst them down, uh, more often than not, you're gonna get your super right back and you win your lane so then you can move over and pinch. And that's really helpful in like 3v3 modes. And my biggest knockback on Terra would be her star powers and her gadget. Now, her gadget's really useful depending on the map you're playing on because being able to reveal your opponent's positions when they're trying to hide is obviously really useful, but depending on the map, there might not be enough bush to actually justify using it, so it's just situational just because of the nature of the way it is. Um, so I'm really interested to see what they're going to release for her second gadget. I don't even have an idea for like what I could bring forward for it, um, so we'll just have to see what they do with it. But as far as her star powers... Both of them are kind of meh, in my opinion. Like, the healing one's really good, but um, sometimes it doesn't react fast enough to give you your heals, and sometimes it just gets bursted down, depending on where you actually, like, summon it at. And the, the damaging one is just really pointless, in my opinion, because it doesn't have enough HP to actually survive, um, actually getting hits off unless the person's already distracted and it comes up off the side. So, um... More often than not, I just find them to be a bonus to using your super, not actually the reason to use your super. All right, moving on from Tara, uh, we're going to start talking about Chromatic Brawlers. And obviously, there's only two Chromatic Brawlers, them being Gale and Surge. And while they're both really strong in the meta right now, I haven't really pushed either one. I got my Gale around 300 trophies, and I got my Surge at about 100 trophies. And... Uh, for that reason, I can't really give a preference on which playstyle I prefer more, but I can tell you which design I like more, and with that regard, I would have to say Surge, um, because I really like that he's like an 80s Transformers, and that as you upgrade him, he changes and he gets more pieces added to him. I think that's really cool. And I know this is kind of going to be like in regards to playstyle, and I said I can't prefer playstyle, but I like the idea that if you don't die with surge it adds more to his brawler and it rewards you so um that concept alone i think is really cool um but the problem with it is obviously the way it's implemented because surge is super strong right now and that would lead me into the biggest knock i have against surge and that he's just not balanced right now because um it's too easy to get a super right now his gadget's really strong and um his first star power rewards him for missing his shots which is a mechanic that i don't agree with at all um you know, we saw that with Sprout, and we see that with Mr. P, and now Surge, and uh, Gene to an extent, not so much because that has damage fall off when you miss. But anyway, whenever they add something that rewards you for playing poorly, it's going to have negative effects because it basically makes the brawler uh, mistake-proof, and that's a problem. But that's going to be my biggest knock against Surge right now, just his balancing is all. 
All right, and just like that, we're on to the legendary brawlers. Um, and this one's gonna be another toss up for me because I really like both Sandy and Crow. Um, I like Sandy in 3v3 modes, um, but if I'm gonna give a preference, honestly, it's gonna be Crow. Even though he's not good in 3v3s and I really don't play a lot of showdown, um, I just like that Crow um, is kind of like an edgy gangster kind of guy, um, but he, in all reality, he's super weak. I think that's kind of funny and ironic if you think about it. And in my opinion, Crow has some of the best skins in the game. Um, if you look at uh, the Mecha Crows, those are all pretty cool. Um, my favorite one out of those is going to be the Black Crow one. I think that's a super cool design skin. Um, if they made a Red Crow that looked like Iron Man, I'd be all about that one, honestly. Um, anyway, uh, White Crow, it's probably my favorite skin in the game right now. I love the gold chain and the eye patch on him. I think it's super cool. Um, and then Phoenix Crow is super cool and in the animations and how his wings come out when he does a super. I think that's all really cool. Um, and then Crow's mechanics. Um, I like the toxic one, even though I've spoken kind of that it's weak in the past. I do like the toxic mechanic and that it can be useful. And his star powers are both really cool. Um, you know, carrying Crow, being able to get you kills when someone's almost dead, and then um, extra toxic uh, being more of a, like a supportive Crow. I think that's a cool thing, and it helps you for like build diversity. Um, but that's going to lead me into the biggest knock against Crow, and again, it's going to be balance. Um, Crow is really bad in 3v3 modes, but he's super good in 1v1s, or uh, in solo, I should say. Um, so I feel like Crow needs to be rebalanced to fit 3v3 a little bit better, because, um, like I said in my balance idea video, if they gave Crow more damage up front, I don't think it would break him in um, solo showdown. So I think that <clears throat> it can't hurt him, it can only help him if they give his damage up front and then just weaken his poison a little bit. But that's going to do it for my favorite brawlers. And uh, let me know what you guys think, um, whether that's, you know, your favorite brawler for playstyle or design or whatever. Just let me know uh, what your favorite brawlers are. And uh, also let me know if you prefer this format, like I said at the beginning of the video, if you prefer this freestyle format or if you'd prefer it more scripted. Um, but that's going to do it for today. Uh, I want to thank you all for watching and I will catch you guys in the next one. Peace.